Now we're going to design a two lens cloak. So we'll start with a lens here and a lens here and say this one is focal length f1 and this one is f2 and they're separated by distance t. Let's see, so what would it take to make that system's matrix equal to the propagation matrix? So we're going to write it, just to make sure I don't run out of room, I'm going to go ahead and just write all three blank, then we'll fill them in. Okay, so the first thing that's going to happen is the light is going to refract off of thin, the first thin lens. That's 1, 0, minus 1 over F1, 1. And then it's going to propagate a distance t. That's 1, t, 0, 1. And then it's going to refract off of thin lens 2. So that's 1, 0, minus 1 over F2, 1. So we can start multiplying these out. We'll multiply this one times this one first and see what we get. Um, we get uh, 1 minus t over f1 for that term. We get t for that term. We get minus 1 over f1 for that term, because that's a 0. And then 0 times 0, 1 times 1, 1. Okay, that's the product of those two. And then we'll just pull this one down so that we can see them next to each other. 1, 0, minus 1 over f2, 1. All right, so now we multiply this one by this one, and then we have our final matrix. Let's see, so this is um, 0 times that, so 1 minus t over f1 again. And this is just t, 1 times t plus 0 times 1. And this term is minus 1 over f2 times all of that. So times 1 is minus 1 over f2 plus t over f1 f2. Um, minus 1 over f1. Okay, so that's a big term. Three terms in that one. And then this one is um, minus t over f2 plus 1. Or if I wanted to write it similar to that one, I'd say 1 minus t over f2. So this tells us our required condition. 1 minus t over f1 has to be equal to 1. And 1 minus t over f2 also has to be equal to 1, and uh, minus 1 over f2 plus t over f1 f2 uh, minus 1 over f1 has to be equal to 0. So maybe you can start to see the problem here. If this is 1 and this is 1, this thing has to be 0. That's the only way that's going to work, and this has to be 0. And this whole thing needs to be 0. So the way, the only solution that works here is that f1 and f2 go to infinity. They can be plus infinity or minus infinity. You could work it out either way. But if f1 and f2 are infinity, that makes these terms 0. That keeps that true. And if they're infinity, all these terms go to 0. And that keeps that true. There's really no other way to make all this happen. It doesn't matter what t is. So that's actually a trivial solution. Remember way back to the beginning of the class, I told you trivial solutions would sneak up. What does it mean for f to be infinity? It basically means it's a flat piece of glass here and a flat piece of glass here. And sure enough, if you put a flat, thin piece of glass there, the rays are going to go through just like they were supposed to, or just as though the glass isn't there. And t actually doesn't matter for two flat pieces of glass. So the two lens cloak, there's no uh, non-trivial solution. Now you may think when I started this I said oh but we put the focus in the middle and do this and we had that. But remember that was uh, that was not this good of a cloak. That was not going to work at all the different paraxial angles. That was only going to work for this one uh, beam of light straight. Now we're trying to do something harder. We're trying to have all the different angles. So we did all this and we found out you can't really do it with two lenses. So we have to go bigger. 